Hi guys, this is AndroidPipe.com and this is the Google Nexus 4 handset. We're here with a game called Cracking Sands. It's a racing title that also has some shooting in it. It has a campaign mode with a bunch of cups that you have to complete. And an interesting music that sounds like alternative that meets funk. The game comes from Polarbit, it's a pretty famous brand. And these are the options of the game. You can either use the accelerometer of the device or touch controls to race. So let's show you a single race. Let's choose one of these tracks, well, maybe this one. Start the race. You can also buy a new vehicle, get some upgrades, but we'll get to that later. The game costs $4.99. It takes up 349 megabytes and it's all about racing and shooting. So you can change the direction with these two arrows on the left side of the screen or you can go with the accelerometer. I frankly prefer the buttons. You have to be careful not to fall in that hole. You also have these uh, blue energy pads that you can access and on the right side of the screen there is a jump button that I just pressed now and then there is a nitrous button that I'm pressing right now and finally a shooting button for a machine gun that has a pretty annoying sound if you ask me. There is also a button that puts you on the right track in case you are lost or you run into an object and once again the charging pad that gives you an extra bit of energy. The game I have to say it's quite hard, it's actually frustrating. That's one of the main downsides of the game. Another downside is the fact that we had some trouble with the game. So at first when the game was launched it had a bug that didn't allow us to enter the application. But then it received no less than two updates. One of them added the touch buttons. Initially it was all accelerometer and it was a pain to control, believe me. So we're on third place right now. Would be good if we finished among the first three. So let's see about that. This is lap three out of three, the final lap. Let's do some shooting. We're on fourth spot right now and we fell in the hole and basically the race is lost. That's why I say that the game is frustrating. You can leave the game, the race for the entire period and then you can wake up and see that the race is gone just with a small mistake at the end. And there's not actually that much shooting going on. You can actually win the races better by not shooting, get to a higher spot. And there are a lot of things to do. You always have to remember to jump in some areas, shoot in some areas and just race in some other areas. You earn coins with each race and you can use them to purchase some upgrades. I'll show you immediately what upgrades I'm talking about. So you press this option right here and here we are with some vehicles and upgrades. You can also upgrade your character. You can buy him a cheerleader coat, Hawaiian, bear, a jumpsuit, female jumpsuit, cowboy. There's also eyes, mouth and special purchases. You can put a gas mask on him. And these are the vehicles that you can buy. Some of them are pretty cool. Most of them look like ATVs. You can also upgrade stuff. So the vehicle we have right now Let's see if you can upgrade its top speed, acceleration, control and weight. Let's upgrade the weight for now and the control and it's all set. Those are the maximum upgrades we can do for now. Of course you can also upgrade your weapons. But we don't have sufficient credits for that. You can also purchase a rocket launcher, EMP blast, freeze gun, vampire gun, drag beam and a lot of stuff to actually stop the enemies from reaching the finish line ahead of you. There are mode game modes, there are more game modes. There is a time trial race, elimination and head of the pack. Plus there is a multiplayer mode. But I cannot seem to find enough players to actually get a race going. This is the campaign mode with the cups. So let's play a cup race. Right now we're in the second spot. Second out of six. The graphics are pretty cool, pretty colorful. The music is a bit repetitive and the game once again is a bit frustrating.
So let's see if we can win this race. You can also collect some power-ups during the race. You can see that the enemies already have stronger weapons than I do. Some of them can freeze me, they can slow me down. There are various power-ups along the way, like those uh, yellow arrows that will speed me up. And I can also use the nitrous button from here. And I have just charged and I'm on second place. And I've just been hit by, I guess, a rocket. So that's my problem with the game. You can do a perfect race and right next to the finish line, some guy comes up, gives you a hit, a rocket, and it's all done. Or you can simply chase a guy for the entire race and get surpassed by the other five contestants. Anyway, it's not that hard to get credits in the game. I have to be thankful for that. You can actually buy a lot of stuff without making in-app purchases. After all, you pay $4.99 uh, $4 for the game. I also would like an update to change the sound effects of the game, especially the machine gun. That sounds a bit faded and a bit annoying, to be frank. And now we're preparing to enter the second lap of the race, quite a big race. The environments are pretty much the same in all races, desert, industrial places, places with molten lava and all that. Maybe a town, a subway, and usually wastelands that remind one of Mad Max. As you can see the race is pretty much uh, one-sided affair or a two-sided affair since it's just me and the guy on the first place that was dueling and I just been hit by a projectile so exactly what I was saying earlier you do a perfect race and at the end it becomes frustrating since you can lose your spot I also am not very impressed by the graphics of the game it could have been better I've seen better, but at least the game is fun to play, you can have fun with a lot of vehicles, weapons, customize your character, play an online game, and the elimination mode is quite fun, you probably know what that's about. At the end of a certain time frame, the guy on the last place gets eliminated, and so on, till only one is left. So someone is trying to put me out of the race, and you just saw I was on second spot for the entire race and now I lost it. That's what I call frustrating. And turns out I actually can reach the second spot again. Unless something crazy happens. Okay, so this is it. This is the game called Cracking Sand from Polarbit. It may be fun to play, but it's also pretty frustrating at times. It had a lot of bugs when I first bought it. It didn't want to start. It received two updates in just a few days. And when your application receives two updates, there's got to be something wrong with it. I frankly advise you to use the uh, touch controls, not the accelerometer, since they're very imprecise. Okay, so AndroidPipe.com gives Cracking Sense an 8 out of 10 because of the small bugs it has and the fact that it can be frustrated but it's still a fun game if you're willing to pay for it and if you're willing to race and shoot. This is Cracking Sense, this is AndroidPipe.com, bye bye.